Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. The video you are viewing will show the steps to install the Avaya or Session Manager vApp using the VMware vSphere client and vCenter server. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura Session Manager vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the Session Manager OVA file. The wizard will perform the provisioning of network storage, defining the network interfaces to be used, and the management of the complete install. After the install completes, the vApp will be ready to be provisioned and connection made to the Avaya Aura System Manager. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server, which allows for administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The Deploy OVF wizard opens and the first entry is where the session manager OVA file is located. I am using the browse button and selecting the OVA file on my hard disk. When selected, then press the next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Press the next button to advance. The license agreement is displayed. Press accept and then next to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press the next button to select the storage configuration. We will be using the network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press next which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing next again advances to selecting the various network interfaces. Session Manager requires three interfaces to be set in this release. They are the management interface, the services port, and finally the asset or security module. I am setting the three interfaces and have pressed next to go to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push finish. You can use the back button to adjust or make changes. I have pushed the finish button, which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The install has completed and I am closing the completion dialog. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps in the process dictate that the session manager needs to be provisioned and active on the network before starting the session manager virtual machine. Please refer to the published white papers for those next steps. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.